Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody pay better. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason, and I have to find out why. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless our souls. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not your surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah!
I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> no. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Okay. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Yeah. Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Do you understand English? Get lost. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Do you understand English? Get lost. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. I need to figure this out. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Hmm. A paint bucket next to Victoria. I see it. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close.
Okay, let's see if this works. Okay. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. I need to figure this out. I can only go so far back in time. Okay, let's see if this works. Awesome. Keep walking, hippie. Victoria is not getting the hint. Victoria is not getting the hint. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. You're so lucky that didn't fall on us. We'd see your ass so fast. Okay, let's see if this works. Capiche? What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. Nice, bro. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. 
I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourself okay. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably... Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Just get to your room and grab Warren's flash drive. After all this action, I still have to get Warren's flash drive. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? You uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. 
Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet... Ju Juliet Olsen. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Answer, you wuss. <laughs> Note to Max, it pays to remember names. Ugh. Note to Max, it pays to remember names. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Ridiculous. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, if probably you know, not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk, just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. <clears throat> Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. <clears throat>
I can help Dana and check out Victoria's room to find out if she is the kind of person I hope she's not. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Oh man, this is so wrong. I better find proof fast. Max, take that paper from the printer and get the hell out of here for good. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. <gasps> Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it, she has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy, a geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha.
I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect.